Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the Reddit recap. Today, I'm gonna be giving you guys the best tips I can. We have a ton of clips. We have 191 people in the subreddit and just continues to grow. And I'm just so proud and glad of this community we've been able to create. If you guys wanna support all of this that's going on on our end, please pick up the merch. I'm wearing the red right now with the gold. We got the glow white on the black and the silver on the mauve. I'm super excited about all of it. Check it out, masteringtricking.com. But with that said, let's give some tips. Oh! Finally understanding cheat nine, but still isn't great. Any tips? Oh, that's a beautiful cheat nine, dude. Try and jump more. My only advice for this cheat nine is to try and get a little bit more of a lift and a jump off your plant leg. That leg that's pushing into the ground, the more you jump off that leg, the higher your cheat nine will be. You did a good job of lifting your cheat leg into the air to give you plenty of set, but jump. So that way you can kick as high as you can. How is my cork? I feel like I could dub it if I could keep my legs together, but my brain won't let me. What's wrong with your brain that isn't letting you? Let me see. Touchdown rise, cork. That looks strong, but you don't have enough power. If you wanna rip a dub, I need to see a far stronger single cork. Gas up the swing motion, not the jump in the touchdown rise. You wanna float through your touchdown rise, so that way you can swing and set up into the big trick. So I would just focus on that right now, but I do think this is really good. And I do think you should definitely continue to work this. It could definitely be a dub soon, but you need to work on your cork. Almost. Oh. Oh, I worried for your ankles on that landing, dude. Dang, dang, you over-rotated too. You over-rotated this quad. You got more flip than you needed. That's crazy. Recently started training Rise. Anything I should work to make it really good? Ooh, that's already a really good Rise, man. That looks awesome. Literally my only piece of advice now would be to jump higher, gas it up. And when you get into the air, become the eagle. Try and really pull those arms back. Get that leg back, get the big split arched back rise motion that you see from Capoeira, that is a good rise, man. And if you just add a little bit more power into that jump, it'll be immaculate. First E-kick, let's go. I love it when you guys post your first clips. Ooh, and that sunset. Oh yes, this editing technique. I love the reverse to slow-mo editing technique. That was so good, dude. I love how you pointed your toes so aggressively when you did that E-kick. And that sunset just looks really good, man. Thank you so much for posting this up. Oh. Tips for Vanish 9. A lot of Vanish 9 tips today. 540 Master Scoot Vanish 9. So when you did that uh, Vanish 9 right there, you almost traveled backwards instead of forwards. You blocked a little bit too hard. When you do your Vanish 9, you don't wanna block so much so that you travel backwards. You wanna keep going the same way you've been going. So I think for this one, you just blocked a little bit too hard. My kicks are terrible, especially hook kick is stable, is unstable. Any tips? Let me see. If your kicks are good here, I'm gonna be real pissed. That's a good 540. Oh, yo. That's a good 20. Oh, dude, your hook kick slaps. It is unstable, but it slaps. Ah. Oh. Yo, guys, do not be down on your tricks. If you're tricking like half as good as this guy, you're pretty good at tricking at this point. You should be pretty hype. That tornado kick hook kick looks awesome. All I would really recommend for you is to use that upper body. As the kick comes across, move your upper body in opposition. Open up your arms to slow your twist after you do the cheat setup of the tornado kick and move them in opposition, like I said, as the kick comes out. Same thing with your hook kick. Maybe slow down your kicks a little bit. You're twisting really fast and you really don't need to spin like a Beyblade. It really is kind of a balancing act because you want to open up your body to slow it down as you do the kicking motions, but you do want to spin fast as you do your setup. 
Just maybe slow it down a little bit and focus on the motion of your arms. That should help with your kicks a ton. But like I said, these are good kicks. Guys, do not be down on your tricks. Your tricks are all beautiful. I love your tricks. Just post them up. We're all trying to get better together. I don't care how good you are or how bad you are right now. Double B twist attempt. Any tips are welcome. All right, I got you. Let me see this double B. I like the slow-mo, a little stuttery. Good setup. Excellent form right here. Good you dip, got plenty low. Could have pushed your arms up a little bit more before you wrapped in. Very good ukemi. That is the kind of break fall we like to see. My only big tip, push your arms out before you wrap them in. That is the butterfly kick set. The bigger you set in the beginning, kick that leg, push out those arms, the more height you will have to finish that dub. Because that looks really good. You're really close and your ukemi is phenomenal. But you need to gas it up in the beginning. My first ever scoot cork. And your friends scoot full. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's see. I love the masks. Training in a mask and a hat? Dude, let's go. Yo, that is so hype. That is so hype. Thank you so much for posting this, man. And that was a really good scoot cork. And you're doing it with a mask and a hat on? That's really scary. That's going to interfere with your spotting a lot. Thank you for the tips. I tried making my beach twist longer and faster with what you said on stream and I finally got it. Yes, that is why we do Tricking Tip Tuesdays. That's why I'm giving these tips. I want you guys to get better and to land these things. Oh, you struggle with the blocking part. That's normal, that's natural. Rome wasn't built in a day and no, neither is any tricker. Yes, let's go, dude. Let's go. Mm, watch that one more time, because that is just so hype. I love seeing you guys land things. Mm. How to get more flip on my cork. All right, let's see this. Ooh, yo, you were so close to kicking that wall. How are you so casual about that? Dude, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? He was really close to that wall. Oh, what a legend. What a legend. His cork is beautiful. His cork is great. Just lift your chest more at the end. Look forward. Don't look down too much. What the hell? You're so close to dying. It is a really icy cork too. Dude, thank you for posting this, but man, we got to get you a bigger training space.